Hey, here we are. I want to talk to you today about how to be bold when praying to God, when talking to God, huh? Guess who's here? Guess who's here? Don't step on the dog. <laughs> this is my entourage. Muffy's here. <laughs> Muffy is here, and she's got something for you this morning. Huh? Boy, look at the hearts are going up now. I'm not Muffy. No, you're not I'm Muffy. Mary. This is Mary. <laughs> look, the hearts are going up now all over the place because okay. Mary's here. <laughs> I have a Mary minute. Actually, maybe it might be a little bit longer. We'll see. Um, I have a little note here that we used to do a radio program, and we used to have uh, Mary Minutes and stuff and I would have get to do stuff and this was um, you say and God says okay if you say it's impossible God says all things are possible Luke 18 27 if you say oh I'm too tired God says I will give you rest Matthew eleven twenty nine through 30. If you say, nobody, nobody really loves me, God says, I love you. John three sixteen. You say, I can't go on. God says, my grace is sufficient. 1 Corinthians 12, 9, and 8, and Psalm 91, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I guess we better get the scriptures right. <laughs> that was uh, not right at all. <laughs> I can't go on. My grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And Psalm 91, 15. <laughs> you say, I can't figure things out. Jim does that a lot. And then he asks the Lord. He says, I will direct your steps. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. If Jim can't figure things out, he asks the Lord how to do it. And that's my mere minute for today. <laughs> well, you know what? I think what I want to do is post some of these on Instagram. Okay. Huh? Can I can I use some of these on Instagram? I suppose. Thank you. I'm going to put this right over here <laughs> with my stuff, and I'm going to post some of those on Instagram. Can I have my glasses back? Um, somebody asked a question. It says, can you talk with God? Yes. And we're going to talk about that right now, about how to talk boldly. How to be bold when you talk to God, huh? Yeah. When you pray. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16 <clears throat> says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we might find grace to help in time of need. God expects us to approach him boldly because of several, for several reasons. Number one, he loves us, just like Mary said. And number two, because we're his children. I tell people this. <clears throat> you belong in the throne room. You belong in there. Your father is sitting on the throne. Are the king's children welcome in the throne room? They should be. Amen. <clears throat> I always remember, Mary, years ago, Mary and I were out someplace and I, she was looking around in this store, and I happened to be looking at the magazines and stuff. They had all these old magazines, and one of them was the old uh, a copy of the old Saturday Evening Post, an original copy. We still have it here somewhere because we didn't throw that away. And it, it, was, uh, it was a day in the life of President Kennedy. And the whole, the whole magazine that day, that time, was focused on what President Kennedy did during a day. And one of the things was, he was having this meeting with all these people 
all these people wearing these real important suits and everything. And they were all there in the in the Oval Office, and he wasn't looking at any of them. He was looking past them, behind and peeking out from behind a couch was his little boy. <clears throat> and he only had eyes for him. And that made such an impression on me when I saw that. And I said, Mary, I said, look at this. I said, that's how God looks at us. No matter what is going on in heaven, what, and believe me, there's a lot of activity in heaven. The angels are fluttering around all the time. I read Isaiah 6. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple, and the angels were flying around. I'm telling you, there's a lot of commotion going on in the throne room. But when you show up, you have God's undivided attention. Therefore, it says, let us come boldly. Walk right in there like you belong in there. When you approach God, picture yourself walking into the throne room of God and talking to him. You can do that. You can walk right into the throne of room of God. You can talk to him. You can, you can fellowship with him. You can praise him and worship him. And if you have needs, tell him about it. And pray in the name of Jesus. But go boldly. You can also be bold when you talk to God when you're telling him what he said. That's what I do. If I need healing or I need anything, I will say, Lord, your word says that you will provide all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Here's what I need. I did that in toward the end of October. Now that's the last time I have asked, and I haven't asked God for anything since that. And that's been October, November, December, January, February. It's been almost five months since I've asked God for anything. And you know, we were talking in here the other night about the fact that, that we're not believing God for anything right now because we're living in his blessing. Everything we could ask or think is coming to us before we even get a chance to ask. There is, is there anything Mary, right? I'm looking at Mary right now. Is there anything you're believing God for right now? Not at this moment. Not at this moment. Everything we want or need is coming right to us. Now we have things that we would like to do and things like that, but everything we need comes right to us. But in October, toward the middle or so of October, I don't remember exactly when it was, I was talking about the fact of Philippians 4.19 that God supplies our needs, that we can pray that to God. And I thought, you know what? I do have a need. I have a need. We need a drummer. We need a drummer for our church band. We didn't have any drums in our church. We didn't have a drummer in our church. We needed a drummer. And I went to the Lord. I said, Lord... And I, I bind the devil in this deal right now. In Jesus' name, I bind him from hindering the answer to this prayer. Now, when I start doing that, I am dead serious about getting my prayer answered. I said, Lord, your word says that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I need a drummer. I need somebody to play drums in this church. I want a good drummer to be with our band. Within two weeks, we had a great drummer. And he brought his drums, set his drums up in the church. They're sitting there right now. Glory to God. Two weeks, we had it. I haven't asked for anything since. But if I need something, I am boldly going in there to get it. I'll tell you that much. And, and I do a lot of praying with the people in our church and with our partners. And I'm telling you what, when you call me for prayer, I'm going to walk right into the throne uh, of grace with you and we're going to get what you need. And I will pray God's word right back to him. I'll say, Lord, your word says 
that you will supply her needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, let's go. Let's have some money for the rent. And he does it every time. People call me up and they say, Pastor Jim, I need to use your faith. I say, let's go. Let's go. I will combine my faith with yours and we will get what you want or need. Because we boldly come into the throne of grace. Amen. The Bible tells us to do that. I belong in there because I am a child of God. Hey, was that good? Amen. Was that good? That's how, you know, if you need a prayer answered, go to our website, increasenow.com. My phone number is there. I will prove to you that this works. I am always ready to prove to people that God's word works. I, I say this, God, we can get anybody healed of any sickness or disease, anytime, any place, and I will prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. There's no disease that I can't get healed through the name of Jesus. Whatever you're sick with, whatever you need, we can get anything you need as long as it's covered by the promises of God. And I can get anybody healed of any sickness or disease because that is covered by the promises of God. Amen. I am ready to prove to anybody, anytime, any place that God's word works. And he, will, he never lets me down. He will always perform his word. Hey, go to my website, increasenow.com. We can get you healed. We can get your prayers answered. Glory to God. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. Make it a good weekend. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. She says, and pay your bills. <laughs>